we are somehow a product of what we have been through. Yes. But we shouldn't uh -oh. be a prisoner of those. Wow, no? that's so powerful. Mm. We are somehow a product. But we are not a prisoner yes. of what has happened in the yes. past. I hope you guys got that. May mga notebook ba kayo? <laughs> Kasi nag -na notes kayo pag ganito yung mga episode ko. Okay. Mm. I used to think that uh, uh, when I quote Bible verses or pray for a person or yun na, uh, be ano. with a person, yun na yun, and then journey with, the, with that person. But when I understood that, it's not as simple as that. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh. And yes. in, in the hindi ko pwedeng tapalan lang ng Bible verse yung pinagdadaanan nila. Um, many of our expressions of love are actually just self-gratification if we are not careful, if we are not aware. Hello everyone! Welcome to the vlog and welcome to the house. And I'm also going to welcome another person in the room with me. He is a very good friend of mine. And uh, the reason why I brought him in to this vlog is because gusto kong uh, gusto ko rin makasagot sa inyo na mga nagtatanong sa akin because I've been having like so many inquiries and questions regarding my healing journey. So today I have with me in my very own home Coach Jello de los Reyes. Jello, actually, I coach na ngayon, but when I met him, he was a writer. So say hi muna sa mga Hello. Tao. Hi, uh, everyone. Thank you, uh, Miss Rika. Rika. Rika, Carla. Uh, uh, how do I address you ba? Yeah. Carla na lang. Carla, okay. okay. To everyone, uh, I, I guess yung mga regular na nanonood ng vlog ko would know na my husband calls me Carla and then my very good friends call me Carla also because it's like my real name. How did we meet ba? Sigo, so ganito ha. Hmm. Gusto ko lang introduce sa inyo kung sino talaga siya. Kasi he's really a wonderful person and I really feel like a lot of you will benefit from what he knows because he studied a lot. Uh, when I met him, actually I didn't meet him like face to face. My first encounter with Jello was like I had to be like sort of this um, communications girl for church. So somebody passed on to me like a bunch of like uh, articles na pwedeng ilabas. Pagbasa ko nung sayo, sabi ko, Ang galing naman magsulat nito. Oh my gosh. Ba anong klaseng utak yung meron to, right? <laughs> Sa dami ng pinagdaanan, maraming I hugot. Oh, so yun actually, yun yun. Yun yun ni, eh. ang dami kasi niya talagang pinagdaanan. Now, so you don't you don't blog anymore, but you still continue to populate um, your social media yeah. accounts, right? So that would be uh, introspection. introspections. Introspections is my personal content uh, network. Uh, I'm putting it up to be that way. Meaning, it's an extension of my own mind, my own soul. Whatever I want to bring out to the world uh, from the pit of my heart, from the pit of my being, Correct. I just speak it out. And through it, I don't just want to speak about situations. Eh. Uh -uh. What I want is for somehow to be able to lend my words to people who can't find the words to yes. express themselves. Okay, yes. Diba? And uh -oh. because of that, it helps other people also na uh, they will have an understanding, a good grasp of their own experiences, their own reality. Mm -hmm. Words are very important, not just in expressing how we feel, oh. but in making us understand or helping us find meaning in our life experiences. Correct. Kaya di ba sometimes we struggle yung, when we're trying to uh, make sense of something mm. and you can find the, the words, words, di ba? Oh. Kailangan nating magkaroon ng word because words carry the meaning, the experiences, yes. the emotions. That's what introspection is for. Oh my gosh, what you said is just like very powerful kasi nga diba I, I can never forget I don't know where I got this pero there's this saying that words create worlds yes right so parang ako rin what a relief to find um, an expression mm. in my words right and tama ka eh, na parang <clears throat> sometimes you can't find it parang you're feeling something di mo ma-articulate kasi hindi mo pa alam right and then when somebody says it Parang, yun! Yun yung hinahanap ko. And I guess that's what you're doing, basically. Yes. That's why I also love your contents. Because in your niche, in your part of the world, you're also lending your voice, voice yes. to other people. Actually, ano yan eh, very political, psychological, physical mm. ng words. Akala lang natin, words lang siya. Pero yes. actually, marami siya nagagawa. Can you tell us something about like words na parang the power of words to redeem a narrative? 
So, in my coaching practice, uh, that's also kind of the work that I do. I help people make sense of their realities yes. and then move forward uh, with a greater sense of uh, empowerment mm -mm. that they can make things happen for their own lives, that they are not powerless or they're not a victim. Yeah. So what I do is I try to help them understand uh, not just what's going on, but what happened to them. Because we are, uh, this could be a, a bitter uh, sweet truth, but we are somehow a product of what we have been through. Yes. But we shouldn't uh -oh. be a prisoner of those. Wow, no? that's so powerful. Mm. We are somehow a product, but we are not a prisoner yes. of what has happened in the yes. past. I hope you guys got that! May mga notebook ba kayo? <laughs> kasi nagna-notes kayo pag ganito yung mga episode ko? Okay. Mm. All of the things that we have been through, all of the pain, uh -oh, all of uh -oh. the joys, all of the successes, uh -oh. the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, all of those made up who we are. And, but it doesn't stop there. Kasi yes. yung brain natin is very malleable. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, it has the capacity to learn new things, to undo yes. yung mga nangyari. And it enables us to respond differently. No, that's a beautiful gift of God to us. I know, diba? right? I mean, like, I cannot fathom, first of all, to begin with, no, yung, na yung brain natin ay pwede pang mag-change. Mm -mm. Yun yung, I think, that's an important thing for you guys to get. Kasi marami nagsasabi sa Angelo na, buti ka pa, parang nag ka, mm -mm. or okay ka, and ako hindi. And I always say na, maybe it's just a matter of time kasi kaya pa rin naman talagang magbago ng yes. brain natin. Healing is a choice. Uh, it's a choice that we make for ourselves. Mm. Gusto mo ba? Do you want to get well? Do you want to be healed? Mm. But second is, healing looks differently for different people. Yes. There's no yes. one, ano, parang one model for healing. What might look like healing for some, Maaring hindi ganun yung itsura ng healing mo, but it doesn't mean that you're not healing. Mm. Uh, as long as you chose to heal, pwedeng nagpo-progress na yung healing. Because healing, it's, it doesn't start on the surface. Mm. Not on the uh, surface level. Not on what's visible. Healing starts from inside. Mm. Diba? It starts with the renewal of the mind. It starts with the healing of emotions. And uh -huh. then it begins to overflow in our responses, our behavior, our actions, our mm -hmm. decision-making. Mm -hmm. Saka pa lang siya nagmamanifest. Okay, so I like what you said na one, healing is a choice, right. meaning it's for everyone. He, basta gusto mo, pwede siyang mangyari. But also second, that it looks differently for, you know, Different, everyone. Yeah. Kasi parang, akala ko, ganun din yung mga ibang tao na parang porke kasi ginawa ni Miss Rica yun. Mm -hmm. Eh, Mang mangyayari na rin sa akin. Ano lang yan, parang kung iba-iba po tayo ng sakit, iba-iba rin po tayo ng gamot. First of all, kasi is kailangan nating malaman ano ba yung tinatry nating i-cure, right. di ba? Whether we know it 100% or just a part of it, as long as it's your story, I guess that's what's important, mm -hmm. what's important there. Eh, na alam mong ito yung sakit mo. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, Jello, you're on the path also of like helping others recognize that, right? Right, yeah. So, before you had only introspections, mm -mm. now you have the space. The space. Okay, ano ba yung the space? The space is a non-profit uh, organization. It's volunteer-run uh, with me at the helm. Mm -mm. Uh, our mission is to see people, young people particularly, to see them healed and transformed so they can live their lives with purpose, with meaning, and with impact. So the, what, what we do with the space uh -oh. is we do coaching with other people, life coaching or career coaching, uh -oh. uh, stuff like that. Uh, we do courses like workshops, mm -hmm. seminars, for, especially for students who can't afford uh, training and development. Kasi wow, mahal yan eh, di ba? that is so cool! Yes. Okay. And, and, then, and then, all of those are funneled into an online community. Kasi, uh, for example, I go to a certain public high school. Tapos, I meet them for like a three-hour workshop right. on emotional well-being. Mm. I won't be able to journey with them, uh, mm. di ba, for a long Correct. time. Kasi, oh, yun kasi lang naman parang, yun. Eh. Okay, one talk, tas bye, yes. 
So I invite them to join my community. So that uh, because in my community, I do programs there na awesome. para sa personal healing or well-being, emotional well-being, and personal growth of my community members. Mm -hmm. And it's a group? It's a Facebook group. It's a okay. private Facebook group. Anyone is invited as long as they're a young person. Uh, so, student, ano yung young person? Yung student and young professional. So, mm -hmm. students and young professionals. Yeah. And it's not, it's not to discriminate older people. Ha? It's really just so that uh, these people who are in the community can find a common ground with everybody. Pag tinanungin kita, ano yung isa sa mga parang when you look back na sana you knew back then? I wish I knew back then that life is not as simplistic uh, as I uh, understood it to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been working as a, a full-time minister yeah. for seven years. But my understanding of people's journey in life was very simplistic, mm. very limited, until I went through a season of brokenness and grief. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of my childhood trauma went to the surface and I was triggered by many different things until I almost lost uh, emotional handle on myself. Yung yeah. parang automatic na lumalabas yung grief. Like there was a time wala when... Wala control. Wala na control. Okay. There was a time na uh, I was driving. Mm -mm. Tapos involuntarily, umiiyak ako. Mm -mm. Without being triggered. Wow, okay. Uh, there was a time back then during that season when I couldn't get out of bed. I was a workaholic person. But at that moment, that anxious response, that coping mechanism, wasn't Work working exactly. anymore. Exactly. Tumirik ka na. <laughs> diba? Nakatirik na ako. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh. And I was punishing myself or I was hating on myself that time kasi when your anxious response is or coping mechanism is to work, work, work because that's where you find sanity. That's where I used to find sanity or value or worth or contribution. Tapos I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't no, distract myself. Na. So I felt like I'm I was useless. Correct. Oo. Uh, wala na akong ambag and pabigat ako sa mga katrabaho oh gosh, ko oh. and all parang of those. Parang siya yung guy counterpart ko kasi those were ve <laughs> my very words na parang wala naman pala akong purpose dito sa mundo. Ba't pa ako nabubuhay? Mm. Okay, you went through that. Yes. How long did that last though? I I was spiraling down for a year. Mm. But I won't say that I was well before, on the years before. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, you only find out naman that you're not okay the yeah. moment it shows. I wasn't self-aware. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say, wala kang self-awareness. Mm. Okay. Ironically, I I have a blog, uh, a, a content page named Introspections, but mm -hmm. I wasn't introspecting as much. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Kaya when that happened to me, the depth of my introspections became deeper. Because uh -oh. I gained a greater sense of self-awareness na, ah, ganito pala. Ito pala yung mga nangyayari sa akin. Uh, all of my childhood trauma that I never, well, I knew they happened, but I never knew that they Ito were still extent? affecting me. Uh -oh. That my responses, my natural responses as an adult, were from my childhood experiences like mm -hmm. my See, yeah, I was gonna say, my value for yeah my value for independence uh, I I want to do things on my own I'd rather do things on my own kesa uh, be dependent with somebody okay. or my emotional regulation I I have become an avoidant person I don't reveal my emotions as okay. an introvert all of those pala were from my childhood coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. So the goal now for me was to grow in my self-awareness so that I would know if that's a trauma response, if my response is a trauma response. Right. And from there, gain uh, self-control, yes. agency, uh, to be I able to that. craft differently yes. my responses. Oh my gosh, I love the way that you turned control because, you know, a lot of our problems stem from Diba yun nga daw ang essence of abuse and trauma na you had no control. Yeah. Parang wala, parang wala kang say dito. Mm -hmm. Nangyari lang siya sa iyo. Yeah. And so to be able to take that back but not by controlling things but having a sense of assertion of self na 
I'm an agent of myself. Yes. Diba? Na kaya ko tong gawin para sa sarili ko. Mm-hmm. Hindi yung parang kaya kong kontrolin lahat ng mga bad na mangyayari. Mm-hmm. Nag-iiba talaga yung mindset. Ang galing na na-turn around mo siya na hindi siya about regaining lang basta-basta control, no? Kasi mm-hmm. you're not trying to control the uncontrollable. But if you have an agency na no matter what happens, kasi din describe mo, hindi, it's not as if nagbago naman yung past mo. Or na-control mo rin tong mm-hmm present mo or yung future mo na wala nang mangha-harm sa iyo, mm-hmm. di ba? But you're able to say na I can stand up for myself right. now kahit na ano pa yung mangyari. Yeah. Di ba? So I used to think that uh, uh, when I quote Bible verses or pray for a person or yun, uh, be ano? with a person yun na yun, and then journey with the, with that person. But when I understood that it's not as simple as that. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh. And yes. in, in the hindi ko pwedeng tapalan lang ng Bible verse yung pinagdadaanan nila and hoping that they would respond in faith and mm. ruminate mm-hmm. on the word. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a journey eh, from there. You know, the most profound thing that I, I learned oh. at that moment when I was down at the darkest pit of my life, mm. was that at that moment, all I needed was someone to be there kahit na walang gawin. Walang, walang gawin. Mm-mm. Or kahit hindi namin pag-usapan yung pain. Mm. Yung alam ko lang na someone's there. Yeah. I didn't need someone to pastor me at the moment. I just needed a companion. Right. Uh, I felt God in moments like that. Mm-hmm. I used to hate the darkness. But when I understood what David said in Psalm 139, that oh even gosh. in the darkness, you You're are there. Light, yeah. And darkness is as light, light to, to you. you. Yes. Okay na ako. I could sit comfortably in my darkness because I'm not alone in my darkness. Correct. And sometimes God uses people as extension of His presence, a tangible expression of His presence to be there. That's when the burden to create the space uh, came about. Came about. Uh, Sometimes our picture of a safe community is that we need people who will not tolerate our bad behavior. That's mm-hmm. true. But we also need people who can tolerate our bad yeah. behavior when we are hurting, when we have lost all sense of uh, control and regulation of ourselves. So what do you guys do there, sa the space? Parang ano, the picture, the mental picture that I can give to you is para siyang home bodies. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pero instead of uh, bahay. bahay tips or uh, saan kayo nakabili ng ganito uh, or mga uh, na, hindi bahay tips or budol tips, uh, uh, uh. doon ay anong pinagdadaanan mo? Ano yung kailangan mo? But aside from content sharing, we also do some free webinars there. I do webinars ah, there. Nice. Okay, so what mm. are your webinars all about? Uh, my iba-iba? webinars are always about two things. Either that's uh, that has to do with emotional well-being or healing or personal growth. My vision for the space is that it's not just a community for people who need something, but it's also a community where they can get access to people that can help them. Mm. So coaches, mentors, yeah, counselors. So halimbawa, uh, it's so difficult to find a counselor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Mm. So I'm trying to build a network of counselors, of coaches, nice. of mentors uh-uh. to be in the space so that whenever somebody needs help or support in anything, they can just tag the person or I can just tag the person. Right. So hindi lang yun, even ministers or people who will pray for them, nandoon na kaagad. So it's like a one-stop shop, a community. That is so wonderful. Mm-hmm. I am just so excited for how the space is going to, you know, just help a lot of people. Kasi marami talagang lost no. ngayon, lalo na yung age na sinabi mo. Mm-hmm. Kasi minsan po kaming nandyan. <laughs> sa aming uh, young pro and, um, and you know, those years, if only someone guided me to like do this and do that, I would probably have chosen like better choices in my mm-hmm. life. But you know, I mean, this is why our experiences are there. It is never hopeless naman, kahit na mali yung naging choice ko dati. Red, marirredeem pa rin po natin True. yet. Kasi God's redemption is not just a passive experience mm-hmm. where we just wait on God to redeem us. 
God gave us the power also to to take part in our own story wow. that God is crafting. That is amazing. Because yeah. a lot of people think that it's just, ipray mo lang, si God na yung bahala, mm-hmm. ganun, na parang, so, where does that leave us, right? Can we not do anything? And more often than not, the answer is you have to do something. Okay, Jello. I'm so... Ang dami na nating napag-usapan. Wala pa talaga tayo sa exciting na part. <laughs> Gusto niyo. Exciting na part. Paksit tayo dito. Okay? So let's ano, ask him a couple of questions that are kind of like buzzwords and... Ano lang, para lang mak- makit may sample tayo. Kung yung iba nagsasample ng kanta, siya nagsasample ng wisdom niya. <laughs> Kung showtime to, sample, sample. Oh, sige, Jello. Topic number one. How do you take care of your mental health? Taking care of our mental health starts with mindfulness, self-awareness. Uh, what What's going on in my own body? Uh, paying attention to my body. Pagod ba ko? Uh, may, may nabibigatan ba ko? Yung puso ko ba? Naninikip ba? Bakit? What's going on in my thoughts and in my in my emotions? A mindfulness tip uh, for people, spend time intentionally. Uh, start it in the morning to listen to one's own self, what goes on in your head, and then lay it down. If you're a Christian, then you can take the moment to pray, uh, and give it to God. Give it to God. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, if not, at least that's a moment where you can be aligned with yourself and Correct. your intentions. Uh-huh. Ano ba yung gusto mong mangyari Mm-mm. for your life? The What kind of life are you trying to create? Yes. So, mm. Okay, so one question. Second question is, what is your view of self-love? And I ask this because it's very controversial. I used to not subscribe to the idea of Me self-love. Too. Okay. Kasi yung idea that I knew about self-love is selfishness. I, I was a people helper. I was helping people as a right. minister. Uh, my expression of that calling was to neglect my own needs for the good of other people. Right. But the impact on me was the more I neglect myself, the more I project my needs on the people that I help. Such that it beca- uh, it started to become like akala ko tinutulungan ko pa sila pero yun pala nag-a-attach na ako oh, 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 ng needs ko oh, oh. kinukuha ko na pala yung needs ko from them di ba sabi love others as you love yourself yeah ang malpractice ko I have been loving others more than I love myself yes so when I started seeing myself as how I see others and extend the same compassion on myself mas nagkaroon ako ng healthy view of helping other people. Mas naging grounded ako. Um, many of our expressions of love are actually just self-gratification if we are not careful, if we are not aware. Anong ibig sabihin nun? We thought we're doing things for other people, but there's that unspoken, subconscious uh, expectation na pag ginawa ko to sa kanya, dapat gagawin niya rin sa akin. Mm. Kapag ka yung sarili ko grounded na on loving myself as how God sees me and values me, there's no need for need that, that anymore. Yeah, need to get it from them. Yes. yes. I will just operate overflow. from the overflow. Yes. You know, that's so funny because like people think that self-love looks like you're going to the spa or like splurging <laughs> on like a big vacation for yourself Mm-mm. when in fact it could be as simple as allowing yourself to feel tired yes diba to na, be i'm weak. tired today i'm <laughs> weak today let me be loved by god mm. today yung ganun lang ka simple instead of like ang dami mo pang ginawa yeah. self love is not ego love it's mm. not driven by ego but at the same time self love is not self indulgence sometimes my own expression of self love is uh, leading myself to get out. Yeah. To, to, diba? to take know. the shower para magbago yun. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, like, that's how I started exercising. Mm. I wasn't even exercising because I felt like it or that um, gusto ko gumanda yung katawan ko. Ang iniisip ko na lang, mamamatay ka na, girl. Pag hindi ka pa gumala ko. <laughs> right. Ganun lang. And doon ko naisip na, mahal ko, gusto ko pa pala mabuhay. Mm. Mahal ko pa pala yung sarili ko, di ba? Para kumilos ako ng ganito. Ano ang advice mo naman sa, since young pros and ano, relationships? Relationships. You know, what I understood, based on the work that I do and my own personal yes. journey, 
we don't just bring our good intentions in the relationship. Mm -hmm. We also bring our potential toxic side into the relationship. Yes! A healthy relationship uh, involves two people who are self-aware, aware of their yeah. own needs, aware of their brokenness, mm -hmm. so that they can communicate it when they need something. Mm -hmm. but my love language is words of affirmation. So, when I need affirmation, dati, as a humble Christian, I want, di ba? I won't communicate that. Tapos, pag kami nag-affirm sa akin, hindi ako marunong mag-receive ng love. So, i-deflect ide ko. Hindi, binubola mo ako. Oh, hindi, ganyan. Oh, oh. But now, when I need uh, words of affirmation, I say it to people who are close to me. Uh, did I do a great job? Affirm mo naman ako. Kasi, Galing. kailangan kong maano eh. Ay, that's so good. Hmm. I mean, like, it's not denying yourself of what you need, yeah. but also in a very healthy manner. Yes, pwedeng i-communicate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, balikan ko lang yung sa relationships. We're not only talking about also of, like, romantic, romantic. no? Ay, in relationships with others, I mean, right. like, what you said is very helpful. Not only pag girlfriend mo or boyfriend mo, pero sa lahat ng tao, a healthy relationship with the self mm -mm. is going to be a healthy relationship with others True. as well. Yes. So. Coach Jello, thank you so much. Thank you. For sharing kasi super dami talagang nagtatanong sa akin saan daw sila pwedeng pumunta for healing and all. Ito na po. Ito mm. na po saan ka nga ba nila pwedeng puntahan? So you can follow me on my social media channels. Uh, it's Coach Jello de los Reyes on Instagram. Oh, it's uh, still that. So is that different from your introspection? Yes. Oh, so, okay. So you still uh, have my your coaching, own. My, my coaching handle is Coach Jello de los Reyes on Instagram. And also on Facebook. Okay. So for coaching uh, inquiries and contents, you subscribe that. to that. Yeah. But if you want to join my community, find uh, the space on Facebook group. All right. Well, thank you, Coach Jello, and th and everyone. Oh, tingin ka daw don, magbabay ka na sa kanila. <laughs> thank you, everyone. And I feel like you have so much to process. So. Uh, we are open for processing at the space. <laughs> so, punta na kayo pagkatapos nito. Follow na kayo sa the space and let's talk about everything that you're feeling over there. I'm going to see you guys there and um, I hope this has helped you a lot because it did help me a lot as well. So, thank you and I'll see you again next week for my vlog. Bye!